What's going on everyone? Welcome back to, well I guess I should say, I'm back. So, today I'm finally going to explain where I've been. Today, on this day, September, uh, September, November 4th. So it's been exactly six months since I crashed. I crashed on May 4th. So it's been exactly six months since I've crashed my bike. Um, and today I'm gonna explain everything and show you guys where I crashed out here. Um, so yeah, this is a cool view. It's just a big ass yellow sign was it in the way of Las Vegas right here. Boom. And plus, I hope you guys like the new intro. The new intro is fire. Oh nice, I just stepped in a lot of mud. So, we just filmed the new intro on the strip out there, which is like all of those big ass buildings, like right there. Um, so yeah, the new intro is cool. I had to rebuild this bike because I did crash it. It wasn't totaled or anything. I do have a bit of damage on here, but I got carbon fiber to protect that from happening ever again. And you won't see that when the carbon fiber is on there. Um, and you can kind of see the wheels are a bit scraped up. Moving right here too. So I do have to still um, sand and paint that. Uh, but yeah, obviously as you can tell, the crash happened on the right side. Basically, most of the bike Alright, most of the right side was pretty destroyed. I don't know why my new fairing is just like scraped all the hell right here. But you can see the airbox cover is all gouged up, a little crack in the emblem. I did have to get new clip-ons. I have Vortex clip-ons now. Uh, because, like you can kind of see right here, it got grinded down a little bit. There's a little scratch on the uh, ignition. There's a little scratch right there. It's kind of, not kind of, it's really cracked right there. But... The exhaust, the old exhaust was cooked, so I got a new SC project. Getting this to fit here was pain in the butt, but I made it work. And this thing right here, that's Woodcraft, was destroyed. So I got a new one of those. I just replaced that. So it looks a lot cleaner now. Once I have the scrapes all uh, buffed out and the carbon fiber frame protectors, or frame covers, whatever, <laughs> It'll look a lot better. And then I'm also going to get carbon fiber tank extension. So it'll come out like the R1 tanks where they're kind of like square here. And uh, airbox cover as well. So this will be carbon fiber too. I'll probably get some swing arm covers. I didn't really damage the swing arm much at all. I think there's like a little scrape right here. Like a tiny scrape. Uh, but yeah. I mean the right, even like the right uh, tail was uh, like all sanded down or grinded down. The windscreen actually the whole half of this fairing and the windscreen all cracked off. So like after I crashed, like this whole upper section right here was gone. So I had to get a new um, front fairing. My Rizomas. So I used to have Rizomas, real Rizomas on this bike. Not the Amazon ones, like actual Rizomas. Uh, and they, the right one is gone. I don't even know where it is. So yeah, but um, we're going to get a startup of this bike for you guys because it has a new exhaust so it sounds pretty good and uh we'll get going to the site where i crashed so yeah let's hear it sounds pretty nice but there's like two dudes right there so i might head out but yeah it's pretty loud and the left side is pretty much fine so there wasn't much to change on that I want to get out of here. I'm not even lying, those guys gave me the heebie-jeebies, so I'm out, bro. I'm actually out. Um, but I did have these levers before. I just had a standard clutch and a shorty brake lever. But since I changed the lever guards out, because the right lever guard was obviously destroyed from the crash, um, with this race lever guard, which if you guys didn't know, the whole reason for lever guards is to protect the brake lever from being able to be pushed in like while you're riding, because obviously that would result in a pretty nasty crash. Um, which is why on wrist bikes and MotoGP bikes, everything like that, they only have it on this right side. 
instead of both sides like a lot of street bikes do. Oh my god. Well, that was not good, bro. I just stole my bike. Um, so yeah, I had to get the, the standard size, which honestly, I think it looks better than shorty levers in the first place. And it, it like fills in the space because when I had the shorty lever on here, like the lever was still like one piece, but it was destroyed like the end cap, the black, I know it was like meant to be replaced if you crash uh, it was destroyed so it, that wasn't the reason I got the new lovers one is to fill in this like empty space here when it was shorty and the like spring inside that lets the lever go forward like this it's like this little black tab right here uh, was like gone the crash had like like sprung it out so yeah um, I do like as you guys can tell there's a lot of like track focused mods on this bike so that's like my my idea with this bike is I'm just gonna turn this bike into a track bike eventually and then get either okay I was thinking about this the other day S1000 the new 2025 S1000RR I'm a big fan I love the look of it um, like the new updated winglets they've done are very nice that or an RC4 so uh, like an RC4 factory the ultra gold 2024 or 2023 is it 2023 2024 I don't know whatever colorway is the ultra gold that's also a very beautiful bike so yeah but I'm gonna be turning this bike into a uh, into a track bike regardless so it's not really like you know a terrible thing that happened because I was going to replace most of the stuff anyways and make it more track focused so yeah um, but running no mirrors on the street is a little bit difficult so I am going to be uh, on the lookout on eBay for a right Rizoma for a Yamaha 2017 to 20 Loud, like it's straight piped. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna be look out on the lookout for a uh, a new right Rizoma for this because running the mirror block off on the street is kind of sketchy because I have to like the only way to see what's behind me is for me to physically turn around, and so you know it's a little nerve wracking to do so. Not nerve wracking. It's a little nervous, like, right now, I'm just sitting here, like, I don't know what's behind me right now, I literally, like, it's kind of hard to, like, turn around fully. It's kind of, like, sometimes at night, I can see in the reflection in front of me, like, see the car behind me. Like, right now, I don't think there's anyone behind me. Yeah, no one's behind me right now, but... But, yeah, I mean, the clip-ons were, like, really, really... Game changes how this bike feels. Um, it makes this bike feel so much different. And I've actually, I actually have a full suit now. So yeah, obviously I don't want to be like you know practicing knee down and shit on a public road just in case I do like crash again. But yeah, hopefully I can start. I can like get, hit the track and stuff. So making sure there's no bugs on the camera. That'll be cool if I can do that, and, uh, you know, maybe, I mean, I'm only 19, so, you never know, bro, maybe I have a track career ahead of me or some shit. God damn, I cannot see. Talk about the crash too. So basically, what happened? The 
night that I crashed, it was a Saturday night at 8 p.m. when I crashed. Like maybe 7.55, 8 p.m. But it was in the, in the, not in the summer. I mean, I guess May is kind of like the summer, but it wasn't, it was like the sun was setting at that time. So it wasn't like it was dark or anything. But, um, I basically like fell asleep while riding uh, because the night before, proudest moment but everyone makes mistakes I'm glad I at least didn't get road rash because I slid like really far like I first hit the hill and then I went up the hill and then went down the sidewalk like 40 feet 40 50 feet maybe a little bit more than that I don't know I went pretty far that's actually where I was at the hospital this hospital right here I was here for 11 days so much pain bro like oh the other thing that happened I guess it's kind of like a major injury was I cracked my bile duct from my liver to my gallbladder I think it's the order that it was because the other way around would make sense so from my liver to my gallbladder I cracked my bile duct open and so I was like leaking like bile like into my abdomen so I was just like spewing acid all over my insides, bro. It was terrible. The pain from that was the worst pain. But like the liver thing was also pretty terrible. I couldn't like lay down flat for like two months after the crash because it was like so, so, so like tender and painful. And even still like to this day, it's been six months and I still like, I'm not full recovered. I was at the gym last night and I had to leave early because my liver was like hurting. And I'm not pushing it, bro. Like, I'm not pushing it with that injury, so. This is the road right here. That road crash on called Grand Hills Drive, right here. So, we're gonna turn into this street. And, this bend. 
hand right here. This first left hand corner is where I crashed. So this is the area I crashed <clears throat> right after this like row of bushes on the left side. Like right where it becomes these tiny little bushes, like I pretty much just went like this. It drove like straight into the curb. Like that green on the curb is the markings of like their investigation of the crash. So that's what happened there. I literally just drove straight into the curb, bro. Because I was so tired I didn't like realize what was happening. I just forget how quickly that stop sign comes up. Let's do this, bro. One day, I'll get my knee to touch the ground. I know it's not really important if you want to be like a fast rider. It doesn't really matter. It's just a gauge for how like low you can lean. Or like, you know, when you basically reach max lean or close to max lean angle. But one day, I'll hit it, bro. Just so I can be like, I can be a street hero, bro. Now, but for real though, I do want to turn this into a track bike and get on track. I kind of live in like one of the worst cities in America in terms of track, like for bikes and anything in general, really. We don't have shit for like racing at all at Vegas. Like I know they have F1 here, like last year and this year, but oh, they're putting street lights here. I don't know. Um, I know we have we have we have F1, but they, that's not even like an actual circuit, bro. It's just a fucking. So the traction control just saved my life, bro. It's just a street like circuit. It's not even an actual like. It's not an actual uh, track. So I don't know. There's not much racing here in Vegas. Maybe that'll change. Or you know what'd be sick is. Is if I grew my YouTube and I was able to like somehow like start doing track, bro. Because I like, you know. I'm just saying, bro. I'm just like. Just a wild thought, bro. Um, I'll turn left. You know, like, maybe, maybe if I like you doing YouTube and kind of grow the YouTube a little bit, like, I can like get enough audience and like maybe go on track or something, you know. Oh, dude! Dude, I actually am fiending for a Supra, like a new gen Supra, bro. Oh my god, bro. The third gen Supras are. <gasps> bro. On the Lord and Savior, I'm buying that when I have money. I'm getting I'm getting either the, M the S1000 or an RC4, then I'm gonna buy a Supra, bro. Absolutely horrific financial decisions. Bro, what do I know about money? My left earplug like came out a little bit, and now I can hear how loud this damn bike is, bro. Like, I can get like a kind of a cool shot right here, bro. I want to put it this way though. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm gonna end the video off right here because. This has been quite a, quite a video, quite a long video, but I hope you guys enjoyed my little story of where I've been. Um, I am going to keep doing videos 
I love making YouTube videos and you know maybe one day I'll be lucky enough to make it my job probably not but we'll see who knows bro I hope you guys enjoyed stay tuned for more videos I'm not gonna be uploading every single day because like I have work and stuff too now so like you know and I'm also not riding every single day like I used to because obviously less chance to crash if you don't ride daily but hope you guys enjoyed if you did drop a like subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one peace out and ride safe